shifting our gears and now to matters of health. Uh, today, uh, Kenya's uh, COVID-19 positivity rate is at 8.5%. This is after 218 new cases were recorded and five deaths. Meanwhile, uh, the country is set to receive 358,000 doses of the unused Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine from Denmark to help in the fight against COVID-19. The Ministry of Health has confirmed that the consignment is expected to arrive at 9 p.m. tonight. This comes at a time when the ministry has expressed fear and panic over the surging cases of the COVID-19 Delta variant in the country. Robert Omar with the details. As COVID-19 continued to take effect and paralyzing activities in the country, Nyanza and Western regions being the latest hive, the Ministry of Health has expressed fears and panic over the rise of the highly contagious variant of COVID-19, the Delta variant. We have our labs there, particularly the Camry lab, that is picking samples so that we can establish um, the number of you know, Delta virus cases that may be there. And what is of concern and of importance, and particularly to those who reside in those 13 counties, is that we have been able to pick out cases of the Delta virus. And it is important for us to ensure that we really adhere to these measures because we want to prevent community transmission. We want to prevent a situation where this virus is not jumping from one person to another in the community. The Ministry of Health noting that this variant is more infectious than other variants. And I can tell you that right now the situation remains one that is critical in the 13 counties. We have engaged um, with the different county governments of the 13 counties and we are mounting a response that, that is focusing on four key measures of that being coordination. At a time when the country's confirmed COVID-19 numbers are rising speedily to hit 200,000, the Ministry of Information has launched the third wave of sensitization campaign to save the sinking public ship. Let me remind all Kenyans that COVID-19 is real. And as the country fights the third wave, we must come together as a society to keep this disease at bay in order to avoid a fourth wave. Concerning the COVID-19 restriction situation in the hotbed regions of Nyanza and Western, which includes worship and 7 p.m. curfew, <laughs> the Interior Cabinet Secretary, Dr. Fred Matiangia, said that it is all for the good and the health of citizens and it won't stop until the fight against COVID-19 is achieved. We must put police officers on roadblocks. We have deployed you know, national government administrators, chiefs and assistant chiefs, county commissioners, deputy county commissioners across the, uh, you know, villages and communities. We are not doing this. It's not something we are doing out of joy and fun. We don't enjoy doing it. It's just that we are trying the best we can to help each other as, as one engine. The Ministry of Health is now calling on the general public to follow the health protocols to avoid being victims of the Delta variant. The 13 counties that are now the hotspots for COVID-19 will continue with the new restrictions until then when the government will do a review to determine whether or not to uplift the restrictions. Robert Omar, Switch TV, Nairobi.